What's up, guys? It's time to have a serious conversation about the plastic crisis. It's not coming. It's here. Look at that tank! Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right, so look, I'm not going to make this one of those doomsday uh, type videos. But I did want to have this conversation um, to make you guys aware of something that maybe you're not aware of. Um, I follow this stuff a little bit more closely than most people because my career, <laughs> uh, my livelihood, you know, depends on it. But because I've also got a lot, a lot of experience uh, in that industry from previous careers and things like that. But the plastic shortage or the plastic crisis uh, is no joke. Um, I think that we were already having some compounding issues, uh, but the Texas power grid shutdown uh, is is really going to compound this problem because uh, Texas is the number one exporter of plastic products and about a third of the plastics uh, professionals, if you want to call it that, in the industry are employed uh, in the state of Texas. So that Texas energy crisis is compounding this plastics crisis. And so if you're into things like kayaks or coolers or fishing reels or honestly anything that comes from a petrochemical foundation, uh, we're in for some issues in the coming years. I'm going to limit the scope of this video to talking about fishing kayaks because for the most part, they're about 100% plastic. Uh, and then I've heard people say, oh, I'll just get a fiberglass kayak. Well, the resin and the epoxy and all of those things have a plastic or a petrochemical base to them. So you're not going to be able to outrun this problem. Uh, here's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to plan. You may have to settle. Um, and you may have to purchase a little earlier uh, than you expected. I do think that there is a really good uh, used market coming. But you better be careful about selling a kayak if you don't have a plan for getting a new one if you plan on selling your kayak to buy a new one. And what I mean by that is uh, we're going to experience some historical shortages. Last year with COVID, there was a lot of people who had time off and then they had stimulus money. So we had record sales in the kayak fishing industry. So that created a little bit of uh, a saving grace because a lot of manufacturers bought ahead more resin than they normally did. But with demand high, and supply limited, prices are going up. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, you know, I have a lot of connections in this industry on the inside. I've had a lot of side conversations and a lot of, you know, real heart-to-hearts with some of the leaders in this industry, and there's problems coming. Uh, there's going to be real shortages. So if there's a kayak or especially a color or a model that you've had your eye on, I would say jump on it. If you see a smoking deal on a used boat, I would jump on it, especially if it's that model of boat that you want. I'm going to give you a little bit more insight. I had some really great deals worked out this year because this was going to be the year that I got away from being exclusive, and I'm still doing that, where I tried more boats. And a number of manufacturers that I had deals with to buy a boat from them, um, I was going to get a, a little bit of a break. You know, I was going to buy it at about wholesale to then do a promotional video to talk about the features and benefits, unbiased, so I wasn't owned because I was buying it myself, um, and then do a giveaway with that boat to our KBF members and and things like that. And my ability to do that is going to be a little bit more limited, or I might just have to go out and buy these boats at retail and play the game, that the same game that you guys are going to have to play. And so I'm just going to – the purpose of doing this video is to make you aware – of this concept, and, and you might have heard the news, and there's a lot of over -sensational, uh, sensationalizing of things, and this is not one of them. Uh, I've watched a couple of hour long videos from you know Amco Plastics and other petrochemical leaders and manufacturers of resins, and you know some other plastic suppliers that uh, that I sub sub subscribe to their newsletters and things like that. And it's not little chicken, the sky's falling doomsday, but it's close, meaning. There's real problems coming with not just the ability to get resin, but to get the uh, the foundational components to create that resin. And then on top of that, manufacturers who even have resin 
maybe short of the components to make the other plastic parts, to make the hatches and handles and it's all plastic based. It's all goes back to a petrochemical foundation and with skyrocketing prices of everything and shortages, now what's gonna happen is industries are competing for those precious resources. The furniture industry, the food industry, the transportation industry, believe it or not, the mattress industry is competing very heavily because they use plastics and resin based stuff to create their foam. And so it's a domino effect. And it's just like uh, if you've ever hired an Uber in a city where there's a lot going on, the prices go up because there's competition. That's about to happen in the plastics world in an unprecedented, uh, at, a, at an unprecedented level. So the purpose of this video is not to get into too much of the politics or the details. You can watch the news for that. But I wanted to, to give you guys a heads up. If you're thinking about buying a kayak and you want a specific kayak, especially if you want a specific model or color, the time to buy is right now. Uh, if you can't afford it, or if the manufacturer or the retailer doesn't have it in stock, consider doing a down payment uh, towards a pre-order. If there's an opportunity to pre-order right now, and you're tying up the amount of money that you have available, I might second guess that, because you might pre-order something and never get it, because demand may exceed supply, and you just might not get that product. So uh, if you've got the extra money to where you can put that pre-order down, but it's not the end-all be-all, and you're tying up 100% of your reserves, then by all means pre-order it, because that might be your only chance to get it. I think the used market's going to be huge right now. But guys, this is going to cross over into fishing line, into fishing lures, into fishing rods, into everything that's got plastic uh, components in it. That's a bigger discussion. I may have that discussion in a later video, but the purpose of this video is to tell you if you're interested in getting a fishing kayak, now is the time to get it. Uh, if you're interested in investing in a fishing kayak, you might want to buy a couple of them because I, you know, I hate to be the doomsday guy. Again, I'm going to say this one more time, but you might be able to buy a kayak now and in six months, you could sell it for 25, 30% more than you paid for it. And I'm just going to tell you guys this to be as honest with you as I can. Um, I don't think that this is going to be a short-term resolution. I think this is going to be a problem we see all the way through the year. Uh, and it might be a, a bit of a right-sizing or a resizing of the industry. There may be some manufacturers that this is fatal for. Um, there's going to be a big component of how does this affect the imported industry. People are going to say, well, I don't worry about the U.S. shortage of plastics because I'm buying my kayak from a uh, international source. Shipping containers are backed up for months right now at uh, ports because they don't have enough labor to get the ships that are there unloaded. So even if they ship today, they might be months getting in stock or getting unloaded to get those products in stock for those manufacturers to ship them out. So even though there are great uh, imported kayaks out there uh, from manufacturers like Feel Free, you might not be able to get them. So again, guys, if you're interested in buying a fishing kayak, this isn't some sales tactic. This isn't me, you know, little chick in the sky is falling, you know, over sensationalizing things. The plastic shortage and the plastics crisis is real. And you should consider that for what your plans are for the upcoming year. Uh, when you're deciding when, where, how, and what to buy. So again, guys, I just wanted to do this video as a little bit of a heads up, keep you guys in the loop. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you like this kind of news that you can use, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's more about this topic that you think I should cover. But I wanted to give you the basic overview that this isn't a fake crisis. This is real. And so if you want to get a kayak, you better get it now. So, hey guys, I'm Chad Hoover, just keeping it real. <laughs> and I hope you like this video. See y'all in the next one.